Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, today uh, we're going to show you a, a big 39 and a half foot Atasca Horizon. Uh, folks, if you had won the lottery in 2002 and you went to a Winnebago dealer and told the Winnebago dealer you want their biggest, their most expensive, their best appointed, the best equipped model, this is what you would have drove off with. The 2002 Atasca Horizon by Winnebago, model number 39QD. This is about $200,000 in 2002, and this is Winnebago's best unit, their most expensive unit, best appointed, best insulated, most equipped RV you could have bought in 2002. Still got almost over a $60,000 book to this day. But folks, this is a 2002. It is a on a Freightliner chassis, 330 cat diesel, uh, cat turbo diesel. It's got 130,000 miles, which folks, this is a diesel. This isn't a cast burner. This thing's not even broke in. And I'm gonna tell you, this has been, this is a gorgeous RV. It's priced $20,000 under what the NADA says it's worth, even with 130,000 miles. Beautiful RV, 39 and a half foot, might as well say 40 foot, two power slide outs. Uh, one thing I want to Winnebago myself, folks, and one of the things I love about Winnebago that they do that other RV manufacturers don't, Winnebago builds 80% of their own parts on all their motorhomes. Other RV manufacturers buy all aftermarket parts, they just put them together. Winnebago actually builds 80% of their own parts, so it doesn't matter if it's a 2012, a 2002, or a 1972 model, chances are you can order just about any part you need off this for this motorhome right from Winnebago. Uh, 330 CAD engine, it's got the 7500 Onan diesel generator, runs perfectly, I got it running right now. Uh, 22 and a half inch wheels and tires. Uh, all hydraulic leveling jacks, spotlight, all the goodies folks. Uh, another nice feature is this is a Winnebago, so you actually have a no maintenance fiberglass roof. It's at 39 and a half foot. The tires look great. It's got the Alcoa wheels. Notice the slide outs. Uh, the trays come out with the slide out. This has got the basement heat and air. It's got electric and gas furnace. I'm going to tell you folks, this just come in. Uh, you know, we got to put a couple of light lenses in it, things like that. But we're going to show you everything works down to every last little light bulb. And uh, folks, this is a absolute bargain. Allison six-speed push-button automatic transmission. I mean, this is a serious rig for a serious RVer. This is about as nice as you can get without getting into the class like your Bluebirds, your Prevost, things like that. I mean, to be in this price range, this is about as nice as you're going to get. Heavy-duty trailer tow package. I believe these things tow right around 10,000 pounds. That 330 cat may not sound like a lot of horsepower. In 2002, this is one of the most powerful engines you can get. And you get your power from your torque. You're talking almost 800 pound feet of torque in this 330 cat. So it's got twice the torque of a, of a gas burner. So this thing is going to just run off and leave a gas burner eating its dust from a dead stop. It's going to give you all the power you need. And you've got that diesel longevity, something you can run a million miles on or more, folks. I've never seen a worn out diesel motorhome. I've seen them 30 years old at run and drive just like a brand new one. That is the benefit of diesel over gas is you've got the longevity. Look at these big tour buses celebrities use. Look at the big rigs you see on the road, the semi trucks that have a million miles plus on them. Still running great. It's got a big patio awning, full heated basement storage. It's got a door awning. And you're going to love the interior. I mean, there's absolutely no delamination. I mean, look at that, folks. I mean, smooth as you could ever ask a 2002 to be. And that's the benefit of buying a more expensive, more premium brand like this Atasca or a Winnebago over, say, a Fleetwood or a Coachman or something like that. This is something that even if it gets several years old, it's going to hold up three times better than these other cheaper brands. You get what you paid for, in other words. Let's take a look inside. Now, folks, if your RV don't have that sticker, you paid way too much for your RV. 
I mean, that's just pretty much a proven fact after 47 years. As we step in here, folks, I'm gonna tell you, beautiful interior. It's all lit up right now. It's got the basement air, it's ice cold. Good and quiet in here, and I love the interior of this, folks. I mean, you can tell this is their top of the line model. Corian countertop, ceramic tile floor, deep plush carpeting. We've got the carpet runner down. Got the very nice leather captain's chairs. Backup camera, everything works, folks. Six speed Allison transmission. Folks, you can you can fly from California here and drive this RV home. You're gonna be just fine. I mean, just a beautiful RV. You know, the kind of people that can spend 200 grand on a new motorhome is going to take care of it, folks, as a rule of thumb. And this is exactly, uh, I mean, if you're wanting a top of the line model, you're not wanting to pay $60,000, $70,000, this is your next RV, folks, because it's got everything. Upgrade hardwood cabinets. This is a power sleeper sofa. You push a button, it makes a bed. It doesn't get any easier than that. Leather recliner. Uh, got a nice little ready a uh, uh, little area right here. You can eat at uh, you've also your front seat swivel for party seating uh, It's got the surround curtain day night shades and all the windows Beautiful interior folks. I'm gonna tell you I've owned two Winnebago products You can't beat their quality in this class of RVs folks. No way. No how table and two chairs There's two extra chairs in the rear closet. So you got seating for four plus two more if you want to move your front seat around and use that little area right there I mean just look at the floor space these two slide outs give you just beautiful uh, they're flush slide outs got a little bar area right here it's got the Norcold RV refrigerator freezer uh, and it believe this one should have the ice maker it does Microwave confection oven, so you got electric oven, so you can cook biscuits, cornbread, whatever you want to put in there. Stove top, real Corian countertops, not the cheap knockoffs. Surround sound stereo, it's got the fantastic vent fan. Carpeted headliner that helps insulate the RV, plus helps reduce road noise while you're traveling. Command center's right here, it's got the big inverter. I'm gonna tell you folks, this is just a beautiful RV. Uh, like I said, central, it's not roof mounted air conditioners. It's a central basement heat and air, and that's a heat pump. So you've got electric heat, you've got gas heat, and electric air. Uh, got a very nice walkthrough bathroom here. You've got the glassed in shower. It's got a seat in it. Uh, skylight, no signs of leaks or stains anywhere. Corian sink, Corian vanity top. Uh, his and her medicine cabinets, plenty of storage. And this is really neat too because you got a private water closet. Of course, you've got the upgrade porcelain RV toilet, ceramic tile, but you've also got a his and her vanity area and sink. So you've got two bathroom sinks and vanity areas. This unit is equipped for a washer and dryer and You'll be surprised what kind of deal we can cut you if you want to buy this RV with a washer and dryer installed, folks. I mean, we'll cut you a bargain. All you have to do is call our salespeople and tell them you want a washer and dryer. You want to buy this RV with a washer and dryer installed, and folks, we'll make you a heck of a deal. Uh, rear bedroom. This is a huge bedroom. Queen Island bed. It's got its own CD player. Alarm clock right there against the... Uh, on the side right here, you've got a large cedar-lined closet let's open this up here i mean they didn't have to put cedar in this but they did folks just makes it nicer uh two extra chairs for the table i mean this should right here should fit your hanging needs more than enough with all the other closets and storage in here uh storage right here it's got a tv in here of course uh, a little get ready area and this is also a great office area too you can use this for a computer uh, you know, if you're going to be on the road for a while, this is a great place to pay your bills, do all your business right here. Uh, like I said, premium mattress, Queen Island bed, original factory bedding in like new condition. I mean, the nice light fixture, the, the headliners, that sculpted carpet headliner. This is high class all the way, folks. I mean, you're talking $200,000 new, and it's just beautiful RV. Uh, you got a uh, built-in hair dryer. Like I said, you got 
furnace and heat pump. So keeping this thing hot or cool in any part of North America in any time of year is not going to be a problem. Just a beautiful RV, folks. You look online, these things are bringing fifty, sixty thousand dollars dollars $60,000. Folks, we've got a bargain on this one at only $39,900. Folks, NADA base retail, and this is no options. I went ahead and just did it all on one. Let me see if you can see this here. Fifty-six thousand nine hundred, and you can see I've added the hundred thirty thousand miles. Fifty-six thousand nine hundred and fifty dollar average retail with no options. Low retail, forty-seven three. Now, if you read the fine print, the NADA low retail vehicles have extensive wear and tear. They need repairs and are usually not found on dealer lots. Folks, where in, this, where in the world do you see anything in here that's got wear and tear that needs repair? We're gonna show you everything works down to every last little light bulb, folks, and you got the word of one of the oldest and most recognized used RV dealerships in the United States, 47 years in business, telling you that we're gonna guarantee everything to work, folks, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now, we're gonna add the options. Uh, as equipped, this unit has got a $60,000 900 retail, $50,000 500 average retail. So, folks, other words, you're buying it for 20 grand back a book, 10 grand back a low book, in just excellent condition. I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to jump in this motor home and drive it anywhere, and I'll deliver this RV to you anywhere in the United States. Believe me, folks, my driver's a uh, this is just a nice RV. My drivers drove it several hundred miles in, and they said they wouldn't. And, and I'm going to read directly off their comment sheet because they do a report on every RV that comes in, anything it might need driving-wise. And they actually made a comment, folks, that they would not hesitate to drive this RV anywhere, and I've never seen them do that before. So obviously this is a nice RV, and they're not scared to drive this thing 3,000 miles to California to deliver it to you. Folks, this is a bargain for only $39.9. I mean, for this class of RV for under $40,000 is unheard of. But folks, that's why we're Parkway RV Center. That's why we're the best place in the United States to buy RVs. You know, we started out 40, almost 48 years ago. And uh, my grandfather started this place. And he taught my dad, who taught me, you know, there's RV dealers on the corner every street in America. Everybody gets in that NADA, they price their stuff for retail. That's just a fact of life. And he always said, the only way you're going to make it in this business is to sell your stuff less than anybody else uh, and sell them right. Don't don't charge them fees. Don't make, in, don't make points on interest rate. None of that junk, folks. Just keep your prices lower than anybody else, and you won't make as much. I'm sh you're sure not going to make as much, but you're going to sell more. And his favorite saying was, make your dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters. That's exactly what he did with this one, folks. Why well, go to another RV dealer and pay ten dollars to $15,000 more for this same make and model RV? It doesn't make sense, folks. Why well, pay ten dollars to $15,000 for the exact same RV? This is why people come from all over the country to buy RVs from us. There's nothing for us to have people come from Canada, from California, Washington, New York, all over Florida, everywhere in the United States, for them to fly in here to Chattanooga, Tennessee, we'll pick you up at the airport for free and drive one of our RVs home, folks, because we save the average buyer over $10,000. And I'm not talking about just on the low price. You know, when you go to these other RV dealerships, especially the big ones, they're going to charge you $1,000 to $2,000 in dock fees, prep fees, dealer fees, all that junk. I'm going to tell you a secret, folks. If those fees... If they ever charge you anything other than the other than the sales price, and if you're an in-state buyer, like we're a Georgia dealer and you're a Georgia resident, then if they charge you anything besides that and sales tax, well, folks, you got ripped off. Because the only thing a dealer's required to charge is the sales price and the sales tax. It doesn't matter if it's used. It doesn't matter if it's new. So if, if you paid a dime in extra fees, well, you got ripped off. There's no telling what else they ripped you off as well. Another thing a lot of people don't know, and they hate it when I say this. I've had several dealers call me and ask me to stop saying this in my videos because they've actually lost deals because of this. Folks, when you go into an RV dealer and you see an RV you like, you get a price even though it's higher than ours that you think you can live with. You go in there and you apply for financing. You think you're done, but it's wrong, folks. A lot of people don't know this, but 
RV dealers use financing as a way to make money. And how they do that is very simple. They get you approved at a very, very low rate, just like we do. We get people approved to 2.5% two all the time. But what they do that we don't do and that you don't realize they do is they actually mark the interest rates up. That's right, folks. You think, you know, you get approved 2.5%, but you don't know it because they don't tell you that. The bank don't care what you pay in interest as long as they get their 2 Two and a half percent, or whatever they approved you for. That's all they care about, and uh, they don't care if you pay twenty percent. They they encourage a dealer to do this because the more money the dealership can make on financing, the more they're going to use that bank. So they're going to approve you at two and a half percent, but the dealership's going to say they approved you at six and seven percent, making you pay a four or five percent markup on interest rate, folks. That's huge. When you're talking thirty nine thousand dollars. Or if you were at the other RV dealers, of course, you'd be 50000 plus you were financing. But when you go to these other RV dealers and you pay $50,000 plus for the same RV and they charge you 4 or 5% more in interest rates, folks, that's huge. That's thousands of dollars in higher RV payments that you're paying over the life of an RV loan than you would have paid if you'd come here. So not only am I going to save you about ten grand off the sales price, not only am I going to charge you no extra fees, but folks, I'm going to tell you, I don't mark interest rates up one bit. What the bank says is the lowest rate they can do, that's what you pay, not a bit more. I don't believe in it, folks. I believe financing should be a courtesy for our customers, not a way to make money. So folks, I think you're starting to see why we sell 15 to 20 RVs a week and why we've been in business for almost half a century. We have 150 used RVs in stock, one of the biggest selections in the south of used RVs. I've got just expanded our lot. We're going to have it about 250 in the next 30 to 45 days. We've got the lowest prices on the internet, folks. Hands down, no questions about it. Don't believe me? Look up 2002 Atasca Horizon 39 QD and you'll see what I'm talking about. We're thousands less than anybody else and we've got a nicer product and I bet you they don't shoot a video of theirs. Give us a call. Our phone numbers are 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays is 423-605-6747. Our website is parkwayrvcenter.com, and you can email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Folks, I don't have commissioned salespeople, so you don't have to worry about high pressure. Look on our website, RV, parkwayrvcenter.com. I don't have everything online yet because we're buying more than I can put on in a week. But I'm going to tell you, folks, if you don't see what you're looking for, call one of our non-commissioned salespeople. You'll be glad you did because, folks, we're going to save you so much money. It's funny. If you buy your RV from somebody else after watching this video, folks, what you did is the equivalent of taking about ten dollars to $15,000 cash out of your savings, put it in a paper sack, throw it in the middle of your driveway, and set it on fire and watch it burn because if you bought your RV from somebody else before calling us, that's exactly what you just did, folks. I see it every day. I have people tell me every day I, they want to know why our prices are so much lower, folks. And it's just everything I told you. We believe in treating you right, giving you a fair price, because we know we're going to be the place that you're going to send your friends and family to to buy their RVs. We know we're going to be the first people you call when you're ready to trade in and upgrade. Parkway RV Center, folks, since 1968, family owned, family operated. Thank you for watching my video, folks. If I can help you, please give us a call.